Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. So today is Saturday and we're still not in lockdown here in Iceland and we're still doing fine. We're uh, <laughs> we're at home. We're just chilling out at home. Last week was quite an interesting week for us. So on Wednesday Ingmar started a new job and that's been going well so far. I now have him around the house. He's taken over my office space and is kind of doing video calls quite often and requesting cups of tea um, whilst I look after Mia. So yeah, that's going to be quite entertaining. We will try to vlog more. I think Ingmar did a couple of videos, took over the channel for a while last week. We're going to try and record a bit more of like daily life. But yeah, I mean, it's not very exciting. We're just staying home. Today, actually, Ingemar has done a run to the supermarket, which always makes me a bit nervous. This afternoon, whilst Mia sleeps, has her nap, I am going to go out and visit one of my friends who has just become a, a new mum of a newborn baby, which, what a time to be A, pregnant, or B, going into labour. And obviously, she's not really seen anyone, but she's asked for a few items that we've got, so things like sleep suits, sleeping bags, whatever. So I have packed up some of Mia's old things and I'm gonna do a little drop. So I'm gonna, they stay in an apartment building, so I guess I'll go to the, the door and then I'll leave it halfway up the stairs. We'll have a conversation across the stair and then she can come down or her husband can come down and pick it up. And it will be a relatively safe way of doing it. Um, and also kind of seeing her and seeing the baby. I've got another friend who is pregnant right now. And she's asked for some things that she can't, she was planning to buy at the shops. So luckily we've got everything that we can share with everyone. It is kind of getting a bit more spring-like outside. So it isn't snowing anymore and the snow is almost gone, but it's very icy. I took Mia for a walk yesterday. It was very cold, very slippery. We lasted about half an hour. It's quite hard to go for walks here at the moment because there's not many paths that are really walkable. <laughs> so we're just doing half hour walks here and there until it kind of thaws and then we can go off and enjoy some real amazing spaces and landscapes with no tourists around and have them all to ourselves. We can finally take Mia to the Golden Circle which is crazy that she's whatever almost two and we've not done that yet. This little teenage girl is sitting here chilling out with a big blanket and she's watching Peppa Pig. It's very close to nap time and she's getting pretty sleepy. So I'm not gonna bug her, I'm just gonna quickly put all the dishwasher stuff away, get the next load on, and then put her down for a nap and have a cup of tea to myself. I'm gonna do a little bit of indoor gardening today. So I've got a couple of pots and inside here are some very exciting little babies. So I'm gonna take some of these out, some of the bigger ones, and put them potted up. And then also I've been growing some cress, <laughs> it looks a little bit sad, I need to eat it. And some cuttings here, we've got some roots already forming, you can see a little bit of snow in the background. And then this crazy looking succulent, I'm going to see if this actually gets a root and repot that. And then inside here I planted up um, some tomato seeds that I got, so they're growing nicely, they're going to hopefully uh, get potted up a little bit bigger as they grow and individually. But yeah, the plant life is looking pretty good because I'm able to feed it <laughs> a lot more and spend a bit more time on it all. These are magnolias, so my mum did this when she was over and I think they are in desperate need of being planted or potted up today, so that's gonna happen. They need watering as well. This one has taken a massive growth spurt and I think it's going all the way along the back there. Yeah, it's still down there as well. And is also now trying to reach out to Mia. So we've got little bits of it all over the place. This one here, look how long that is. Yes, Mrs. It's very exciting. But I have to protect it from Mia's little fingers. And I've left this up. <laughs> so a little bit of love still in the air from my friend Charlotte's hen party. Mia Lula. Night, night, little Mia. Oh, it's very bright in here. I'm gonna put down the curtain. Mommy, a kiss. Oh, oh. Night, night. Oh, it's cold out there. Let's get some warmth going on in here. And the chair up to normal height. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below what it's like where you're staying because 
Even though we're not in lockdown, it's social distancing here and it is a Saturday, like lunchtime, I feel like there are still quite a lot of people out and about on the roads and a lot of the car parks for the supermarkets are pretty full. Um, there are lines outside of shops as well. So yeah, I feel like this is still, there's still quite a lot of people out and about. Okay, what not to do in social distancing when you're confined to your small apartment with an already broody Viking is go and see a newborn baby. Oh. Hello, Mrs. Hi. Take this dumb nose out. <laughs> oh! No! Where's your chat? Say hi, Mama. Oh! <laughs> Mrs. Should we get all of our friends? All of our friends. Hi! Yay! Not the healthiest of lunches, but a little bit of comfort food. Mia has got some hummus, some tuna, some cheese toasties, and a little bit of daddy's lunch. I've got cheese toasties and a cup of tea. We're joining all the family on a Zoom call now. Mia, who's there? Yeah, we're gonna try and achieve something that will look like these little chicks covered in cute little paint drops from beautiful Mia, who is currently not that happy in her high chair, but we're going to crack on with this in the little production line, getting four done and getting them off to the post office. No, it's not. It's cute. It's, just, it's artistic impression. Exactly. It's beautiful. <laughs> Yay, Mia. Right, you've got four of these to produce before dinner time. <laughs> As you can maybe see, we have four copies. Three of them have already been promised. One is going to Art Museum in London, another one in New York, and the third one in Paris. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one is going to be special. He is paying a lot of attention to her work. Has been giving this a lot of thought over the last couple of days and before going to bed last night she said, Daddy, I'm ready for this project. And as you can see, she is in her own world right now. Mixing colours and forms. In ways we haven't seen since the Impressionists. <laughs> Wow, look at all these. They look amazing. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter. Doing the bedtime routine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Together. Let's grab a dub dub. And this is Mia's room all ready for night time. So we've got her cot ready. She's got her little toy. She sleeps with the sheep which we play the music, she knows how to turn this on. Sometimes we hear that through the night, it's a bit weird. Um, and a little, um, oh it does, does it shake? I don't know, it squeaks. <laughs> Both bunny rabbits. And then we've chosen two books, so we always do the Sweet Dreams bunny and say it in two languages. And then we've got Grandma Bird, which we've not read for a while. So those are the two books for tonight. And then, yeah, we, she turns off the light and we have the iPad for some white noise as well. And we always do bedtime routine together, read the books together, and then both say her good nights, give her kisses and cuddles, and then that's hopefully her for the night. Mm. Okay, it's Thursday, which is the day before Ingmar's birthday, so they have gone for a little walk. It is a holiday here in Iceland. I'm not quite sure what today is, but the day before Good Friday is a holiday here as well. So they've gone out for a walk, and I am basically doing a little bit of baking and a little bit of kind of craft DIY. I will show you what I'm up to. In the oven, we've got some flapjack. Uh, we can't get um, the little mini eggs <laughs> anywhere, so I've just put stars on the Easter baskets. Right, we've got a little Mia now. She's decided to put her cup up here. There you go. Yeah. Ta. 
And we finished this. This looks delicious. I've taken a bit for Mia to try, so she's been snacking on that. It's got dried apricots and raisins in it, and it's pretty yummy. The happiest little girl. Mmm, is it yummy? Mm, yummy. Yeah? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Good Friday and happy birthday to this number one nerd. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I was just gonna kiss you on the cheek there. <laughs> I haven't vlogged any of today because we've just had a nice family day. Um, I've spent pretty much all day either nibbling on things that I've been making for him or getting them all ready for him. So we've had a lot of playing with Mia. He's gone for a snowy run and then yeah, We've just been kind of chilling in the house because it's been snowing and that's about it. He asked for a double chocolate cake, chocolate icing, chocolate in the middle, full chocolate. There's some flapjack, there's some cream with it because Icelanders can't have cake without cream. <laughs> and then we also made some of these for Easter but Ingmar's never had these before, like chocolate crunchies. And so I thought I'd make a tray of them, which I'm glad I have because he's eaten all of them apart from these. And this is the sides of the cake and he's also nibbled at all of that. So for someone who is keto normally, he's pretty much a chocoholic. Yeah. <laughs> and I've been making fun new toys for Mia. Very expensive, high quality toys. This is her blackboard table, which we've been using today. I've just cleaned it all, but she's such a Mensa baby. She's written happy birthday Pabby on it. We've had a nice day, haven't we? You're in your little nerdy outfit for daddy. In case any of you wondered what Ingmar wanted for his birthday dinner, we're having chicken Kiev and veg because that's five star Michelin cuisine. And Mia has a little bit of everything. She's also got the rest of her veggie crisps that she was having from earlier and a tiny bit of hummus because she has hummus with everything. Happy birthday to daddy. Happy birthday to you. Say so make a wish, daddy. chocolate <laughs> good morning and happy easter from us it's easter sunday we are chilling at home we uh, got up at six o'clock um and it was definitely my turn to be up with her so been up i've had some coffee we've been playing mama bless you Ooh. and i'm currently making some pancakes for us we've got so we've got our little Easter corner and then we've got some pancakes or crepes we've got coffee for mummy and daddy some fruit and we've got chocolate spread and all sorts of goodies yummy yummy hop little bunny hop 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 and stop yay hop hop <laughs> <laughs> We're out for our Easter walk and I completely forgot to film anything. So here's a little clip. We're absolutely frozen. I look like a style mama. <laughs> right, in tradition goes, I'm gonna roll the Easter egg. See if you can hit this and smash it open so we can eat it in the car going home. Happy Easter, everyone! <laughs> Didn't even hit the rock. Ah. <laughs> Good 
Yay! 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 Mia! Go, Mia! Yay! So we went on a walk to find the bunnies. But we didn't see any, but now we got back in the car and there's one right there! Happy Easter, mister! Mr. Canina! Canilla! 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 <laughs> Mia's discovered the chocolate. Oh, Mia, that's far too big, Daddy. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Get yeah, Papa. Get yeah, Papa. Find her a little bit, please. Mm. Much better. Is it yummy? <laughs> Num nums. Mmm. Mia, what do you think? Okay, no. <laughs> too much. <laughs>